Did you know the world of Naruto was quite different in its original concept? In the original one-shot pilot, Naruto took place in an urban fantasy setting. There was no trace of a hidden village, and its overall aesthetic was marked with modern fashion and technology. The pilot also featured a gun, a motorcycle, and a murder investigation by regular police. The cast was also very different. In fact, the majority of the important characters from the pilot never appear in the series proper, and vice versa. Naruto himself was actually a reincarnation of the nine-tailed fox in the pilot, rather than having had the fox sealed within him. On the subject of Naruto's conception, many creators have inspired its creator, Masashi Kishimoto. Masashi has cited Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball as having a big part in influencing early ideas for Naruto, and works like Katsuhiro Otomo's Akira influencing its visual style. He also looked up to fellow manga author Yoshihiro Togashi for his characters. Masashi Kishimoto was not the only Kishimoto to be inspired by these creators. Did you know that Naruto's creator also has a twin brother who authors manga? Seishi Kishimoto, best known for the series 666 Satan or O Parts Hunter, has long had to deal with accusations of copying his brother and outright plagiarism. However, these claims are, of course, rather ridiculous, because as commented on by the younger brother himself, the two were very close growing up together and were exposed to many of the same artistic influences. Therefore, their styles would inevitably be somewhat similar. In Volume 1 of 666 Satan, Seishi states, In fan letters, I'm often asked about, well, I mean, it's written in all of them. Your drawings are very similar to those of Kishimoto Masashi Sensei, who draws Naruto in another shonen magazine. Some of them even use that terrible word, plagiarism. That's probably because I'm the younger twin brother. And since we were little, we received the same influences. Well, our faces are similar too. Please note, I'm more handsome, that's all. Many aspects of Naruto draw from Eastern history and mythology, especially the characters themselves. Naruto and Jiraiya are associated with toads, Sasuke and Orochimaru with snakes, and Sakura and Tsunade with slugs. The balance of power shared by these characters harkens back to the Japanese folklore of Jiraiya Goketsu Monogatari, or the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. The account focuses on a ninja named Jiraiya, who learns the art of shapeshifting to turn into a gigantic toad. He falls in love with a master of slug magic named Tsunade, and has to fight his former student, Yashogoro, who takes for himself the name Orochimaru, after becoming a master of serpent magic. The tale has survived to this day, in part due to the collection of hand games called Sansukumiken, which is comparable to rock, paper, scissors. Other inspirations involve combinations of ancient lore and personal inspirations to Kishimoto. Though foxes, or kitsune, with as many as nine tails, have long been a subject of Japanese folklore, Naruto's tailed beast, Kurama, more commonly known as the Nine Tails, was specifically inspired by Yoko Kurama from Yoshihiro Togashi's Yu Yu Hakusho. According to the official fanbook Kainosho, character Sasuke Uchiha's design and abilities were partially inspired by Yu Yu Hakusho's humorless anti-hero Hiei. Several elements of Naruto are based loosely off of the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West, while at the same time explicitly drawing from Dragon Ball, which also draws from the legendary account. In addition to Naruto himself, being modeled partially after Akira Toriyama's character Goku, the tailed beast Son Goku has an ape-like appearance, based in part off of the great ape form, and has four tails, just like Goku's four-star Dragon Ball. There has been a lot of controversy surrounding, arguably, the most well-known phrase in all of Naruto, believe it. The pseudo-neologistic Date Bayo had fans and translators alike scratching their heads, even more so after the viz dub immortalized the phrase in its unforgettable form. Though nonsensical, the term itself is used more or less as a catchphrase to emphasize a point made by the youthful protagonist in a fun and zany way. The reason why this has remained such a divisive issue among viewers is because, interestingly enough, though the viz localization is not a direct translation, it's also not technically incorrect, because according to experts, there is no direct translation. Date Bayo is a Japanese utterance, and though its grammatical building blocks can be dissected and analyzed, this does not necessarily lend itself to translatability from Japanese to English. While some are content with their own translation, and others have chosen not to translate it at all, Viz's decision to render Date Bayo as Believe It for the purposes of localization has worked for the betterment of the fans by introducing it to, and making it marketable for, countless English-speaking readers and viewers. 
Thanks for watching. We're Did You Know Anime? The Anime Trivia Resource. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest facts and trivia.